Hi everyone um, and welcome to our next video. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, what you need to have in your guinea pig first aid box um, and what I'm going to do is just talk you through the products that I've got in mind, how you would use them um, and when you need to speak to your vet for guidance. Um, so I'm not a vet, um, everything I'm going to show you I will tell you if it's prescription only medicine and if you need to use it um, after having a conversation with your vet. Um, it's worth noting that if you are a guinea pig breeder, have that conversation with your vet to tell them that, tell them you've got a lot of pigs and often they'll then treat your pigs as a herd rather than you having to register each individual pig. Um, they obviously then know that you're much more experienced guinea pig owners um, and often trust you much more to be able to administer um, medicines, um, even give um, subcutaneous injections for fluids, um, things like that, and often um, will hold your hand and, and, and let you almost become like a, a veterinary nurse, if you like. Um, so have that conversation with your vet, get, build up that relationship um, and, you know, let them know when you need help. Um, so the first thing, um, and I've divided it into categories, um, the first thing I want to talk about is supportive care. Um, so guinea pigs um, often don't show illness until they're properly poorly. Um, so you need to keep a close eye on your guinea pigs and if they just look under the weather, um, have crusty eyes or have gone off their food or any lumps and bumps or making any unusual noises or anything that's just a bit untoward then you need to be taking action quickly because they go downhill very fast. Um, so supportive care, I've just got a range of products that I have um, in my cupboard. Um, the first one is Osteocare. Um, so Osteocare um, I use if a guinea pig has given birth and um, has weak limbs or gone off their legs uh, because they need a calcium boost because obviously when they've um, been maturing babies then they've used a lot of their calcium reserves to build the baby bones so often they need um, a little bit of a calcium boost so I just have that in stock. Um, the other thing is a bit of an old wives one um, is Metatone and this is generally a pick-me-up and, and it's a human thing so you know if you need a pick-me-up you can take it as well um, but I just have that in stock as well. Um, the main things to have are critical care, so this is if you have to syringe feed your guinea pig because they're not feeding or not feeding as well as they should be and you need to supplement their diet then you use critical care. Um, now with critical care you it tells you on the back how to mix it up um, and often it's difficult to find a syringe that's big enough and um, that doesn't then clog up the end. Um, so what I use um, is an actually a piping, um, it's not a piping bag, it's a piping syringe I suppose, um, but it's got a nice long nozzle, um, the end comes off and you put the critical care in there and then you can use it like that and the plunger comes down and actually you can then have great control over how much you give. Um, so that works really well. Um, what I find when I'm giving critical care, it's often easier um, and less stressful for the pig if you wrap the pig in a towel. So if you just get a towel and then you wrap over one way, wrap over the other, and then they can't move their head as well. Um, and it just makes feeding much easier. Um, the other thing um, to have is vitamin C. So um, guinea pigs that aren't feeding particularly well um, are, won't be getting the vitamin C they need. Um, so... Guinea pigs generally need about 30 milligrams per kilogram. Um, so if you've got a guinea pig that's off colour for any reason whatsoever, then I would recommend giving them vitamin C um, and I would give 50 to 100 milligrams daily. Um, again, your vet will advise, um, but really handy to have that in. So this is 100 milligrams per mil. Um, so between half a mil um, and one mil is what I would be giving them daily. Um, so that's the other thing you need is one mil. Um, one mil syringes. Um, I just get a job lot of these from Amazon. Um, they are single use. I do get a couple of uses out of them, but then they start to get a bit stiff and they're not smooth um, as you give the medicine. So one mil syringes is really important. Um, and the other thing I have is a ooh, heat pad. 
Um, so this is a heat pad, um, a snuggle safe one. Again, there's probably other makes, but this is the one I've got. And you just put it in the microwave, um, depending on the power of your microwave, and it tells you on the on it how long you need to put it in for. So this is if you've had um, a guinea pig post-op that needs to keep warm, or, or an ill guinea pig um, that isn't isn't keeping its own heat, then I would use a snuggle safe heat pad. Okay, so that's your supportive care. Um, when you're giving um, the critical care, I should have mentioned that what you want to be doing is um, aiming the syringe um, behind the front teeth um, in the gap between the front teeth and the back of the mouth. So put the syringe in the side there and then aim the syringe at the back of the mouth. You then want to give about 0.3 mil per mouthful. Allow the pig to chew that for 15 to 20 seconds and swallow before you then give them next mouthful. Obviously, if you've got a pig that is willing to take the feed, then they will dictate how quickly they're doing it. But if you're actually having to force feed them because they're really not very well, then that's how you would do it. OK, so the next thing to look at um, is antibiotics. Now, obviously, all antibiotics are prescription only medicines. Um, so you will need to speak to your vet and they will need to be prescribed. Um, as I say, if you've got a good working relationship with your vet, they might let you have just in case meds. Um, so that if you've got a pig, you can intervene as quickly as possible. Um, what I tend to find is it's a Saturday night that um, my pigs go downhill and, you know, you don't want to call an emergency vet, but you want to start treatment before the, the surgery opens on Monday. Um, so Batril um, is a common um, antibiotic. Um, I've got some here. Um, and that comes in 2% or 2.5% or 10%. I tend to ask for the 10% one because then you have to give less. Um, and I found that Batril must not taste very nice because guinea pigs really don't like taking it. Um, so if you can give a smaller amount, then that's great. Um, the other one um, is Septrim, um, another antibiotic. Um, Again, prescription only, um, and they will tell you the dosage. Um, metronidazole is another medicine, um, antibiotic, um, which is used in guinea pigs. Again, speak to your vet about that for when that is best to be used. Um, and for um, eye infections um, or hay poke, that's, um, you know, turn the eye a blue hue, gone cloudy, just looks generally sore. Um, then you can use fusidic acid eye drops, which is Isothel, that's the brand name, um, or chloramphenicol eye drops. Um, so that's that's your antibiotics. Painkillers, um, Metacam is what um, generally gets prescribed. Again, there's a dog one and there's a cat one. Um, and depending on if you've got the dog or the cat, um, will dictate the dosage. So the dog one is three times stronger, so obviously you need three times less. Um, there's also the um, generic one, so Metacam's the brand, or is it Loxicam? Loxicom. Loxicom is the generic form of it. Um, so this is a painkiller and anti-inflammatory um, prescription only, so again, speak to your vet. Um, so that's that. So then the next thing to talk about um, is um, nasties uh, or parasites. Um, so static lice is a common problem in guinea pigs, and for that... Um, I use frontline dog spray, oh, it's dog and cat spray, so frontline spray, um, again, um, prescribed by my vet, um, and they said it was 15 sprays per kilogram of body weight, rub through, repeat monthly as needed, but again, it's, it's from your vet, so speak to your vet about that. So that's for your static lice. Um, running lice, um, you'll all know about ivermectin. Um, I've met in spot on, um, so this is one drop per 500 grams body weight. Um, you can also use um, Lice and Easy shampoo. Um, and you can use that two to three days after using Ivermectin. Um, and you can repeat that every seven to ten days for um, three, three to four rounds until you've cleared up everything. Um, so you've got rid of the lice, you've got rid of the eggs, and you've you know stopped the cycle. Um, the next thing guinea pigs are prone to is fungal infections. So if you've got a localised fungal infection, perhaps just on their ears, um, then you can use um, Dactarin, Myconazole, Nitrate Cream, just available over the counter, um, and you just apply that um, twice a day. Um, and it takes quite a while to get rid of, um, but just keep going with it. So that's what you would use. 
Um, if you've got larger areas of the pig that are affected um, or it's quite persistent, then you can actually bath your pig in an antifungal um, shampoo. So um, you can use Nizoral. Um, Manuka and Neem is another one that you can use, which is antifungal. Or Maliseb. So you would bath them um, in those once a week for four weeks and that would clear up the fungal infection. Um, the other things you can use are um, Imavaril, which is an antifungal dip, and you would mix 10 ml of Imavaril with two pints of warm water um, after bathing them, and you don't rinse that out. Um, so you leave it in, you put them somewhere warm to dry off, um, and you must remember to use a fresh batch um, per pig. So don't mix, you know, don't put more than one pig in a, one batch, it's one batch per pig. Um, the other thing that I've used before is itrafungal. So again, this is a prescri prescription only medicine. Um, it's really effective. You do you treat one week on, one week off, and um, for a period of five weeks. Um, it's pretty much a last resort because it's really expensive, um, but it really does work. So I think that's everything in my um, box of um, first aid. Um, so I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you have, please give it the thumbs up. Um, and if you are enjoying my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Um, stay safe, everybody. Goodbye.